The LightSocket security camera from Dotcom Products has a lot of options to give you. I'm going to walk through those here today. So when you open the app, you're going to want to make sure that you've installed the camera onto the app and then now you can roll in with its settings. There's a couple places to go for the settings. One is on the main screen right here where it says settings or you can open up the camera and then on the top right go to the settings. So here's all the settings inside. If you want to change the name, you would just click this arrow, change the name, and you can type in whatever you want here. Okay? Next, if you want to turn the camera on or off, so if you just, you know, you're home at night and you said, oh, or home during the day, so you want to turn the camera off, maybe it's inside your office and you know you're there, you can hit that toggle button and turn the camera off itself. The next setting is your basic settings. You have your camera settings, which we can go into. You can have your image rotation. So what this is going to do is if you have your camera upside down or right side up, you might see that the image is rotated 190 or 180 degrees. By using this toggle image rotation, you can flip it. So we'll do that right now. So let's flip the image. So we'll toggle that, it'll load, and I'll show you, we'll go back to the main screen, and as you can see, now it's upside down. So in this case, if the camera was actually up right, uh, right side up, pressing that toggle button would make it right side up. Going back into the settings, we'll go back to the basic settings here, live ro or image rotation, turn that back off. You might wanna flip the gimbal left and right or up and down. So what the gimbal is, is that is what's, what controls how the camera sees. So you can move the gimbal left, you can move it right, you can move it up, you can move it down. And that's gonna change how the camera sees. Now what's cool about this is if it is right side up, then obviously everything's backwards and you wanna to toggle those gimbals on. Um, and just kinda of play with it. Next is your other settings, your camera, your camera microphone. If this is off, no sound will be captured. So you want to make sure that toggle button is actually on. With that toggle button on, you're going to be able to capture sound. Next, you want to go into night mode. So night mode, there's going to have three options. You can set what time zone you have your camera set on, and then this is where you'll have motion tracking. When you have motion tracking toggled off, obviously, if nothing moves in front of the camera, the camera is not going to move. When you enable motion tracking, what you can do is you can make sure that when someone walks past the camera, it will see them and the camera will start to follow that, follow that person and track them. Then, of course, the camera might stay at a certain position from after it's tracked them. What you can also then do is you wanna say a rotate reset. And when you do rotate reset, after it's done tracking, after about 10 seconds, then it will rotate back to its uh, preset position that you gave it when you set up the camera. We have those enabled right now, and we can go back. Next is gonna be if you have an Echo Show, you can enable that there, or SD card recording. So for us, we have an SD card inside the camera. Ours is set for all time recording. If you'd like to only record during an event, such as it's seeing motion inside the camera, and only record at that time, you can have it do so. What I like to do is have it record all the time, for, in my case, so that way it doesn't miss anything. Recording schedule, you can have that all time recording or you can set a custom schedule where you give it a period of time to record during each and every day. You can see your storage, so you can see how much usage has been on the storage and you can format the storage car, uh, card if needed. Now, what's cool about the storage is as soon as this is at 100% storage, it will start deleting the longest video on the card and replace that with the newest video that it's just noticed. Going back now, we can scroll down. If you've enrolled into the MyCloud, that's where your subscription is gonna be held. Uh, you can do Smart Detection, which is your alert settings. So in Smart Detection, if motion is detective, you can ask it or tell it which sensitivity level you want it at. Maybe the leaves are blowing outside and it's capturing the motion of those and recording it. And you say, well, I want a little bit bigger motion uh, than that. So what you might say is bring it down to medium, or bring it down too low for the motion to be activated. I like to keep mine at a level of high. Next is your alert frequency. How, many off, or how often do you want to receive alerts off the app when it sees something? Alert frequency is low, you might set yours to medium or high. If you feel like you're getting a lot of notifications, then you might come in here and set this to medium or low. Again, schedule, maybe you only want to receive alerts during certain times of the day or night. You can set that here inside the scheduler. And of course, we have the camera alarm sound, 
When this is toggled on and it senses motion, it will do a blaring beeping noise from the camera. Next is your notification settings. This is gonna be videos and photos you receive alerts for. And if you receive any app push notifications, such as the little notifications that come down, you'll need to toggle both those on. You can do a pin protection, which means by enabling that, you can enable a pin, so that way you have to enter a pin on your phone to watch the recordings. And lastly, your network settings. Going into your network settings is gonna allow you to connect to your uh, router or your hub inside your house to connect the camera to it. And that's it. If you wanna delete this camera, you just delete it at the bottom there, and those are the settings. Now, there's other settings off also on, on the uh, main screen. One is the uh, camera button. When you click that, that's gonna start recording anything that's seen in its live view or recorded view down to your phone. The next one is the headphone, the speaker. You can unmute that and you'll start to hear what the camera hears. You can press the mic. That's how you talk to somebody that's at the camera from your phone. You can also uh, do a share. You will share the, vi uh, the caption, it'll capture this screen and you can click share and that'll save to your album. You can send it to your friends or family. And then of course, the light button at the top. When you click on the light button, you can click open and that's going to turn these lights on and you can keep them on or you can turn them off or you can be auto depending on the motion that it senses. Again, this is your toggle switch. So you can press left, right, up or down to make the camera shift left, right, up or down and then it'll stay in that position until it detects motion if you have it detecting motion or it'll always stay in that position uh, if you have no motion detected. The other way is to rotate it 180 degrees. You can click that button. As you can see, it flips the camera. Again, if this camera was upside down, now it's looking right side up. If you have a, a lamp that you have installed or maybe it's upside down, you can use this 180 button to flip flop the image to make it look like it's right side up. And that's it. That's all the little things that you can see in the camera. You also have alerts and you also have activity on the bottom here that you can go to and look at the storage. On the activity piece, you wanna make sure you hit SD cloud or SD card and not the cloud storage, so that's the toggle there. So you'll hit SD card if you're recording from an SD card. You'll hit cloud if you're recording from the cloud. On the SD card, you can obviously take your thumb and move back and forth of those recordings and be able to review those recordings from the SD card that's loaded into your app. And it's as easy as that. Another way to do it is go back to the camera if you're looking for your device. You can click on the camera itself. You can scroll through here on what time you want to look at the SD card and view it from the recording. And that's all the options that we have for the LightSocket security camera sold by .com products.